Well, folks, this is Marty out here in Ozark Outdoors. Got the uh, Taurus revolver and 357 Magnum out here. Bought some bullets, some uh, berries bullets. Or... And I loaded some in some 38 special shells with uh, five and a half grains of long shot powder and some at five grains of long shot powder with CCI small pistol primers and I loaded some more with uh, in the 357 Magnum cases with eight and a half grains of long shot powder and some with eight grains of long shot powder some Winchester small pistol Magnum primers got some more loaded with uh, little gun powder I believe it's hydrogen makes it I think uh, again the Winchester Magnum small pistol primers loaded some at 16 grains 17 grains and 18 grains I'm gonna try them out here at 25 yards and see what kind of groups we can get out of them Trusty nine millimeter earplugs out. Well, let's see if we can't get some heat in this barrel. with 16 grains of little gunpowder. And 158 grain bullet at 25 yards. Three inch card here, so yeah, not too bad. Got those marked and I'll go back up here and shoot the 17 grain charge. These bolts got a pretty good hollow cavity in them, fairly deep, and it's copper plated even on the inside of it, so that's why I kind of think it might be like electric plated or something. Loads here are with the 17 grains of little gunpowder. Definitely got a kick to them compared to the old 38 specials, anyway. This here shot a little bit wider group. One was way down here. One was up here. 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 Not quite as small a group as the first load I shot. Here's the load of maximum charge 18 grains of little gun powder behind 158 grain. Barry's bullet. Well, I saw one wild one flew out of the group over here. But I had one, two, three, three all in the three inch card here. Now it says not to drive these bolts over 1250, I think. I'm pretty sure I'm probably going faster than that. That may be causing some of these 
flyers here, but the majority of them all are within about a, if that's a three inch card, probably in a four inch group here at 25 yards, all three different loads. Except for, like I said, the two flyers there. So it's definitely good enough to whack a deer with. Maybe we ought to shoot a milk jug with it and see what it does. Well, I'm going to set this camera up here and see if I can't get some video of this bullet whacking these jugs up. Well, looks like it went through the ice and bounced off of this one here, but can't tell if it's in there or not. I don't think it is. I have to get my metal detector out and look for it. I'm hoping to catch one. Try it again. Hey, we got a bullet, folks. Might get it dug out. Get a piece of a jacket there. There it is. Shed most of the copper. There's a little bit of copper like what was in the bottom of the hollow cavity. There's a little bit of copper left on the sides of it, but pretty much all ripped the copper off of it, except for the base. There's a little piece here, which and that could have been from one of the other bullets, but I, I think it was from this one. Pretty cool. Well, it might be a pretty good bullet. Getting a fairly good group at 25 yards. It's about, it's probably about a four inch group with all three different loads that I shot out of it. Discounting two wild ones that could have been my error, I guess. But, pretty happy with that. Bullet didn't deformed too much held most of its weight pretty happy with these berry bullets so going through a gallon jug 
full of ice and into a orange ju juice jug full of ice that, cap that actually captured the bullet. Pretty cool. Well, I shot four of them with the uh, eight grains of long shot powder, and then I shot five of them with eight and a half grains of long shot powder. The eight grains of long shot powder hit here, 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 and here. The eight and a half grains hit here, 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 and here. So. That powder right there is not nowhere near as accurate in this particular load gun than the little gun powder is. It it shot a pretty decent group like in this area right here. These here's all over the place. Same bullet. Same three fifty seven Magnum case, just using a different powder. So I can write that load off the list right there of anything to try anymore. These are the loads of 38 specials that I shot. The uh, shot them with long shot powder, some five grain loads, and some five and a half grain loads. I had one that shot kind of low couple wild ones up here but the majority of them's all right in the same spot that the magnum loads was hitting so that'd be a good practice load with less powder and low recoil they didn't kick at all nothing compared to the magnums so I think I'll I'll load a few more of these up at uh, maybe 5.2 grains, somewhere in the middle here, because they, they pretty much all shot in the same spot right here at 25 yards. And uh, I'll chronograph those, and I'll do the same with the uh, 357 Magnum loads with the... Uh, little gun powder I'll load some of those up again and chronograph them they all hit pretty much in the same spot so need to see how fast they're going that'll be another day maybe tomorrow Saturday we'll see anyway 357 Taurus revolver 627 tracker good luck in all your adventures thanks for watching